So you've passed your CTNA exam. Congratulations. Now what? It's important as an example, I believe, that in today's world of networking that you learn Python, that you learn network automation. However, you may prefer other technologies. You may prefer spending your time learning about security. So should you stop studying for CCMP? I would say no. I would say you should try and get your CCMP. One of the quickest ways to destroy a network is to implement automation. If you run the wrong script, such as many companies have, including Cisco, think about what happened with WebEx. Systems get taken down, things go wrong. So you need to have people that understand what's going on. next tip I'll give you is study what you enjoy. Don't just run after the next big thing because you think there's a lot of money in it. There's no point spending your life working and studying stuff that you hate. You should try and study stuff that you enjoy. Now you may say, David, but how do I learn all this stuff? Now again, if you don't want to study and you don't want to learn, it's going to be tough. But if you're prepared to put the hours in and learn and study, your life will improve and opportunities will come to you. So you've passed your CCNA exam. Congratulations, now what? I get asked this question very, very often. David, what should I study? What should I learn? I've passed my CCNA exam. What should I now be studying? Now, the first thing to note is that networking is always changing. Things are changing all the time. What's important today will not be important in five years from today or 10 years from today. I've been in networking a long time and I can tell you the knowledge that I had about ISDN or analog modems or frame relay is irrelevant in today's world. A big takeaway about networking and IT in general is that you have to keep on learning. One of the most important skills that you can learn is how to learn because you're going to need to keep on learning in your IT career. If you don't want to study, if you don't want to read, if you don't want to learn, then IT is maybe not the right career for you. Because in IT, you have to keep on learning. In networking, you have to keep on studying because things change all the time. But that's an advantage. If you young, if you new, but you prepared to study you can learn the new technologies and get ahead and get further in your career quicker by simply putting the effort in and studying. Experience is really important, but the great thing about IT is that if you're new to it and you're prepared to study the new technologies, you can get ahead of others very, very quickly. Think about it. What was important 10 years ago is no longer important today. You need to learn the new technologies. The cloud, network automation, network programmability, net DevOps are becoming more and more important. I am a firm believer in riding waves. Ride the new technologies. Don't try and study the old things. Study the new things that can help you in the next five to 10 years. Learn to ride waves. It's important as an example, I believe, that in today's world of networking that you learn Python, that you learn network automation. However, you've got to study what you enjoy. There's no point spending your life studying and working on technologies that you don't enjoy. You may prefer studying security or Cisco collaboration or other technologies rather than learning about network automation. You may prefer learning about the cloud 
So it's important that you find what you enjoy and spend your time learning those technologies if you can. Some people really enjoy configuring firewalls, setting up intrusion detection systems, making sure that the security of a company is good. If that's what you enjoy, then spend your time on those technologies. If you enjoy hacking, if you enjoy penetration testing, testing systems, breaking them if possible, then spend your time learning Kali Linux and other technologies that help you do penetration testing. You should try and study stuff that you enjoy. So find areas of interest. If you enjoy security, then study security. If you enjoy voice and collaboration, then study collaboration. If you enjoy programming, then study Python. But always keep your eyes on the trends. Cybersecurity is very hot at the moment. So is network automation, network programmability, net DevOps. But so is the cloud. So studying AWS is a good use of your time. Cloud technologies are becoming more and more important. So I would suggest that you look at waves. Look at what's important in the next five to 10 years. So should you stop studying for CCMP? I would say no. I would say you should try and get your CCMP. Having a CCMP, I think is still valuable. If you can, I would study CCMP as well as these new technologies at the same time. Try and study both if you can. It's always good to have foundational knowledge you can't automate a network if you don't understand how a network works. So this talk, I think, of CCIE is becoming irrelevant, I think is not true. You're still going to need people that understand networks to be able to run networks. When something goes wrong, which it often does, there are many cases of, for instance, in the UK, BA systems falling apart, banking systems falling apart, you're going to need people that understand networking to fix those things. One of the quickest ways to destroy a network is to implement automation. If you run the wrong script, such as many companies have, including Cisco, think about what happened with WebEx. Systems get taken down, things go wrong. So you need to have people that understand what's going on. So I think CCMPs and CCIEs will still be very relevant for many years to come. But don't rely on certifications. Use certifications as the way to open doors to get past the recruitment agents. But learn new technologies and expand your knowledge into other areas. Learn the cloud, learn network automation. Now you may say, David, but how do I learn all this stuff? You do it day by day. Spend time every day learning something new. Don't stop learning every day. Spend time studying. Don't make the mistake of not studying every day. Learn something new every day. Now again, if you don't want to study and you don't want to learn, it's going to be tough. But if you're prepared to put the hours in and learn and study, your life will improve and opportunities will come to you.